So today, in Hearts of Iron 4, we play as Finland, a country with a very interesting history and interesting role in World War II as the only democracy to side with the Axis powers, losing, but kind of winning, a war against the Soviets years before. They're definitely an interesting player, and today we play a mod that completely overhauls their focus tree, which I guess they don't have. I don't know if they're getting one in the new update. I kind of think so. I don't know. I haven't stayed up to date on my dev diary lore, but this does give Finland a very interesting focus tree. There's a communist option if you don't want to go that far. There's a social democratic party option. And then if you don't even want to go that far, you can just do the agrarian league. Otherwise, you can side with the monarchists and either elect Sweden's king as our king, putting us in a personal union, of course, with them, and then continuing to play as Sweden and recreate the Swedish empire. However, some alternative options for king is you can have our current leader become king and create the kingdom of Finland, or you could place a German on the throne, which, you know, may have interesting consequences, you know, considering the current climate and what's gonna start happening in about three and a half years. <laughs> Yeah, at the very top of our focus tree, we begin with Russian trade profiteering, giving us a nice boost to our industry, which will definitely help us prepare for wars to come. Besides that, we also get a nice handful of other benefits, including more recruitable population, which we don't have very many people living here, so that's very helpful. Some more resources, which the steel is very nice, and then just political power stability, so all that stuff is very useful. And we will now recruit Alfred as our political advisor, getting some nice stability and political power gain. A nice way to start things off as we deal with the riots, which we will not give in to today, unfortunately. As much as I would love to grow the middle class class and whatever. And to align ourselves with the Germans, we'll choose the royal house of Hessen to rule our people. It looks like they were actually set to become the ruling house until Germany lost the First World War, of, of course. We, we couldn't handle that, but now, um, now we may need their help against the uh, Red Banners to the, e to the east of us. And we are taking some time to do some of the industry parts of our focus tree, just so we can get enough factories to properly develop both Finland and some territories that we're about to conquer as we invade Sweden. It's very important that we invade Sweden right now, because we start off with a big army and Sweden starts off with a small army but a large navy and a much bigger industry than us so the longer we let them build up the stronger they get. It's ideal to declare war on them right now. So yeah let's go ahead. <laughs> Perfect, we encircled the Swedish army, that's what you want to see. From this point on, it should be easy. And though admittedly the war was more difficult than first expected, we have capitulated Sweden, and it is part of the Kingdom of Finland. Unfortunately, we cannot integrate it until we control Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, so we have a little bit more work to do, and this war will be a little, a little tricky, mainly because Norway has Nah, they have enough divisions that we really, um, we really can't just overpower them, so this is going to be somewhat interesting, I can say. Well, we will hope this goes well. Oh, wait. Yeah, um, okay, never mind. We might not be declaring on Norway so soon. <laughs> yeah, it might be a quick second before we declare on them, yeah. The Allies, ah, getting in, the, getting in the way, I guess. We will have to wait until the war begins. We'll give Germany uh, another year or so. Okay, and Poland has refused Germany's ultimatum. The war has begun. 
done. Hopefully now we can invade Denmark without the Allies guaranteeing them. Of course we will have to join the war eventually, since we unfortunately got those guarantees on Norway, so we'll just try to invade Denmark peacefully while we build our army. And look at that, I was correct, Denmark was not guaranteed. It's like I've played this game for almost 2,000 hours or something. I don't even think we might even get a peace deal if Denmark doesn't join the Allies. Oh yeah, they, they joined the Allies though, of, of course. And there we go, Denmark is now ours, and now we will march into Norway. We're in the war anyways, so there's nothing to really hide from at this point. Okay, and it's time to quickly capitulate to Norway. They have their divisions concentrated in the north, we have our divisions concentrated in the south. So it'll be a race for the victory points. You know, I'm keeping it exciting. <laughs> It was a little difficult, I guess. Some British divisions gotta have some fun. I'm sure they left once they saw that Paris was under siege. I guess there's still some that got trapped here. But yeah, now we can do our focus, the Finnish Empire, and get cores on all this, and then our mission is complete for now until we have to turn our attention east. I guess we could try to invade the UK, but I, I don't know if that's really um that feasible right now. And there we are, the Nordic Empire. Achievable in vanilla, but uh, it, it was nice this way with the decision, and it makes it a lot more simple with being at war and forming it. We'll now probably do this focus. It gives us the Great War tank technology for free and gives us a boost to army technology, you know. Learning from Germany, why uh, to go through all the pain of researching it ourselves. We have uh, 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 quite a few military factories, honestly. 56 is not bad at all. Not close to Germany, but nearing the Soviets in Britain. We also got a lot of of dockyards. We went from 2 to 13 dockyards after conquering our neighbors. That gives me some hope of a potential invasion of the UK. The AI is just bad enough that that may be possible. Oh, and look, the Soviets have started the Winter War. How nice of them. We're, we're just gonna make a few more elite divisions as we um, call in the Germans to the war. And we have made our first rather large Soviet encirclement. Unfortunately, the Allies have landed in Norway. Way, but that's of little concern for now. We will deploy 28 new divisions to deal with it, while well, I guess the Italians and Germans go to deal with it anyway. And we got another nice encirclement here. Defeating the Soviets is no great accomplishment though, especially in this situation. Well, I guess it may be a little hard with Italy failing this terribly. But yeah, the, the real trial will come when we have to deal with the Allies and help save incompetent AI friends from just uh, destroying themselves. And we have earned the glory of taking Moscow for ourselves, that's, that's nice. After that last video, playing through as Malta, trying to save the Soviets, it's nice to, you know, have some fun watching their demise. And I just took a Stalingrad for the Romanians, since they were too fearful and cowardly to do it for themselves. They lacked the will to do it, so we did it, and now... The Soviets will probably collapse, and things are going very well. Um, we, we encircled all these divisions here, well, we've, we've kind of encircled them. Romania has vacated the front line randomly because they're bad, but uh, I'm... I'm sure we'll survive. Yeah, th there's only a small D-Day happening. It's it's nothing to be con too concerned about. I I'm sure we're we're just building some heavy tanks, having a good a good time. Okay, and we're counting on Japan doing something that they could really help us out here. Italy won Africa, but they they're they're, they're losing. Um. Yeah, I, I can't believe this war has gone on for so long. I, I don't know if I've just become bad at the game. I, I feel like I kind of want to just blame the AI though. That's my preferred thing to do. Because I don't know, they're, they're doing such a good job of like taking out Turkey. Like Italy is so good. Italy for some reason, well, in some ways they're good. They've 
almost capitulated several times, but they took all of Africa. I, I just don't know. It's so weird. Uh, and I, I bring the tanks over to start winning the war for them over here, and then they... They oversupply the area. They just put in all their, like, terrible divisions. See, this is... This is why we can't have nice things. Oh, uh, we did it. We did it. We took Dunkirk and this city, and they're encircled. Ah, oh, this is... Perfect. Very historical for 1944. And uh, by the marvelous efforts of my Finnish tanks, we have encircled 60 divisions outside of Brussels. And they just won't stop invading France with massive armies. I, I, I think there's only one thing we can do here. We're just gonna put some planes up over southern England and, you know, just wait. And, uh... Hopefully that, um, scares them away from being annoying for a while. And uh, we have done it. We have landed in Britain, the Nordic Empire, recapturing the Danelaw, as we do. We'll get some heavy tanks over there. I don't know if it's completely safe to bring tanks across, but it looks like we have plenty of supply, so this will be Britain's greatest nightmare, enemy tanks. Not quite German tanks, but in this world, German tanks are much worse than Finnish tanks. And at long last, we finally did it. It was looking like they were gonna lose in 41, but it took until 46. I just keep forgetting how hard it is to capitulate the Soviets when A, you don't make a collaboration government on them, and B, Japan doesn't declare on them. It's just... Just so hard when that happens. And this is one of the best divisions of the Soviet Union I've seen. Without player-led peace conferences. The Germans just took their stuff. We got everything that we could ever want, including Moscow and Leningrad. And we puppeted the Russian Empire, too, so... We have a nice, strong puppet. And we almost have 200 military factories, which is very beautiful. Along with controlling much of the UK, who we recently capitulated also. But yes, this is a very good focus tree. It was very interesting. Of course, this is more of a simple path, but it's a lot better than just playing as vanilla Finland and going fascist, of course. The Swedish Empire thing could also be pretty interesting, too. I don't think there was anything too notable besides, you know, restoring the Swedish Empire by by holding a lot of stuff like Leningrad and the Baltics. I, I would have taken the Baltics too, but that was one of the first things Germany decided to take. Anyways, I'm happy with this. I could continue, but it's 46, almost 47. Invading the US would be terrible as a country that doesn't start with a navy, and I guess we could build dockyards, but earliest we would be capitulating them would probably be 1948, 1949, and I refuse to play a Hoi Four game for that long, so I will see you guys next time as we adopt Blitzkrieg tactics to defeat our enemies much faster than this.